students today we are going to discuss about magnetism magnetism is nothing but it's a force exerted by a magnets when they attract or repel each other we usually used to take tell this term which is called uh, attraction and repulsion where this magnetism is caused by the motion of electric charges here we can see what are the factors which can affect the strength of the magnetic forces we are going to see the how the magnetic forces is applied to a magnets the first thing if you see that it can be changed due to the size of an object or materials of an object or it might be depends on the temperature of the object these three things were very very important which can affect the factors of the strength of the magnetic forces here if you see here which is the magnet first we need to see the difference between the magnet and magnetism the magnet is nothing but it's a rock or a piece of a metal that can pull certain types of a, a metal towards its yeah, whereas the magnetism is nothing but it's a force of magnets called as a magnetism so here if you see that in the screen which is nothing but the magnet is a any material that attracts the ion or material containing the ions where in the next slide we are going to see the properties of the magnets the first property is you all were aware of that the magnets will have two poles which is nothing but north pole and south pole the second property is the magnet exert forces on each other the third one is the magnets are surrounded by a magnetic field to discuss about in detail the first property which has the two poles you if you see the diagram you can see the bar which is the poles in the red and black which is the first one is north and second one is south pole that is each end of the magnet is called as a magnetic pole one end of the magnet will always end up pointing on the north which is called as the red point is north pole the another one is the opposite side of the magnet points to the south which is called as a south pole where the magnetic poles are always in the pass which can be like one north and one south that cannot be two north or two two south where it has like opposite of a poles which is north and south poles the next one is if you see that if a magnet is broken in a half of a pieces which will react as a again a new pole if you see this diagram here the bar magnet which has been broken that way so it will be act as a that half of the magnet will be act as a north pole and south pole here also the same thing which will be act as a north and south pole this is the first property if you see the next property which is nothing but the magnet exert forces on each other where the forces will act in a magnet if you see that when you bring two magnets closer together it will exert a force between the each other of a point it might be a repulsive of a force or it may be a attractive of a force when this force will be taking place due to the resultant of electric charges in the magnet which is created by gaining or losing of electrons see this diagram here also the electrons near the electrons which has that of a north and south pole if it is rotating together the nucleus will be at the center of an atom there might be if the force has been exerted it might gain an energy of electrons or it might lose a energy so the next thing is if you push the magnets apart or pull together what force will exert that is a, a important point if you want to see the next thing is the magnetic force between the magnets depends on how the poles of the magnets lines up like ripple or opposite poles okay if you see that you can see the alignment of a poles how the north and south poles will be when the field is applied your poles it's like the field of the direction of the electrons will be aligned in a particular direction and it will be moving when there is a north different poles of the magnets you will get the position which is called attraction of the magnet when if you get that of 
of a north and south pole it will be in the like if you have the same poles which will be tend to be as a repulsion of the magnet where the your alignment of the spins will be moves in a same direction of a particular moment so this this are the diagrams which, which will shows the opposite poles and the same position of the poles in the next thing if you see this page which is called the magnet is similar to electric charge why because both exert forces on each other and are surrounded by a field the magnet is also it's like a electric charges because in the end of the day it will be like it ex it is exerting a some forces between that of the object so when it is surrounded by a magnetic field when the magnet is surrounded by the magnetic field the shape of the magnetic field can be seen here where your north pole and south pole will be there in this north and south pole where this lines of the magnets will be like both the direction and strength of the bars will be magnetic field can be seen in this lines the closer together the lines the stronger the field whereas the lines around a magnet are closest together at the poles because where the magnetic force is strongest where if this lines if you see that north pole and south pole where the closest of this line will be have the stronger magnetic field when compared to that of farther of the lines here when it is have the opposites of attraction when the two poles were in the opposite side here you can see the diagram the fields of the lines when it is in the opposite poles it will create you that attraction of the moments in that center of the field so this is the diagram it denotes whereas in the like ripples where the line fields that curve away from each other which will shows the repulsion here if you see that the two poles which has the same two poles here you can see the repulsion of the lines where it cannot be attract towards the poles of the magnet the next one is when the field lines in a horseshoe's magnet where it is a very very important example for the magnet which is a shoe magnet it will be in this of a shape where the north pole and south pole will be there when the lines of the attraction the field is there how it will be the attraction of the magnets will be the next thing if you consider the earth if you consider the earth it's like the earth behaves as a bar magnet running through its center because it has a molten ion and nickel in the outer core here i have given you the diagram which is that molten ion and the nickel in the outer core where the poles of this imaginary magnet are located near earth geographic poles which can be considered as like the earth magnetic field protects earth from the charged particles which is emitted by the sun that is how the field has been taking place in this diagram it can also be tell in the another example which is called compasses that is the needle of has a very small magnet and the earth magnetic field exert a force on the needle causing it to rotate and when the lines up or each other with its it is correlating with the each other that each of the direction towards the poles of the magnet and the needle will align in a difference of a points of a direction which is said to be as a magnetic field constituent for compasses thank you